Hello YouTubers, I've got something a little bit different for you today. I was approached by a, a website, an online company called Lightake, and they sell everything from quadcopters to finger puppets. They also sell camping and hiking gear, and they wondered if I'd be interested in reviewing any of their gear. So I had a look through and there's a couple of things that caught my eye. So today I am giving you a brief introduction to the inflatable solar lantern. This has a high efficiency solar panel on the top and then 10 LEDs underneath that and basically it, uh, it blows up into like a cylindrical light. Allegedly it takes 8 hours to charge and will give you 6 to 12 hours of light. Uh, now I live in Newcastle which is at 55 degrees north so we don't get a lot of sun so I'm not expecting it to perform at its best but we'll see. I'm going to take this with me uh, I'm off to Scotland actually next week. I'm going to take this with me and see how effective it is. For now, I'm just going to just see if I can blow it up. See see how it works. Uh, I've literally just got this out of the box, so I might get it wrong. It does come with a little pipette that you can use to blow it up. Um, it's extra weight really and probably less effective than my lungs, but just for the sake of the video, let's give it a go. Okay. Let's see how quick this is. Fun viewing this, isn't it, eh? <laughs> it's actually not bad and it'll save moisture getting in there, you know, so it might well be safer to use this pipette than your lungs. And it's not it's not like it's heavy or bulky, so maybe you can fit it in your pack. But I reckon it'll be alright just to use your lungs. So you can see it's taking shape now. I don't know if you can see inside here, there's like a ring of 10 LED lights. So yeah, that's not going to be the focus, is it? There you go. There's like a ring of 10 LED lights. White LEDs, apparently. It's not dark enough for, for me to show you now, I don't think. Let's find out. I've had this sat out in my backyard for the last two days. Um, yeah, there you go. That's quite good, actually. Uh, it's not dark enough to see how, how much light that's going to give you, but it's better than I thought it was going to be. Um, but I'm not wasting it now. Oh, look, it's got different settings. It gets brighter. And then it's got an emergency setting. Help! I'm in trouble! Uh huh. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I'm going to take that with me and tell you exactly how many hours of light I get out of it. So, here's the solar lantern in the dark. This is my bathroom. There's no lights in here, no windows. Uh, so I thought I'd show you this light. It's actually decent. Like I could definitely shower with this just hung up somewhere. Um, this is on its brightest setting. Like I said, it's got this emergency setting. So you can see when it flashes that it is actually pitch black in here. This is the, the low setting. So I reckon it says 8 to 12 hours of light. I reckon obviously the 12 is going to be on this low setting and then 8 on the high. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it in here on the high setting and time how long it takes to go out. The time now is 5 p.m. so I will keep you updated as to how long this lasts. Okay? Over and out. So, the last time you saw this solar lantern purchased from lightegg.com it was hanging in my bathroom which has got no windows and being left on to see how long it takes to run out of power. I put it up there at 5 p.m. and I checked on it every hour. I checked on it at 10 p.m. it was still lit and then when I came back up at 11 p.m. it was dark. When I went up at 10 it wasn't dim. It looked like it was still going to go strong for another couple of hours. So I don't know how close to 11 o'clock it went out. Um, but I'm going to cut it off at 10 and say that it lasted 5 hours. This thing reckons it will give 6 to 12 hours of light after an 8 hour charge. I hypothesize that the six hours would be on full power and it's gone off somewhere between five and six hours so it's not wrong uh, and in all fairness even five hours is more than I'm going to need it for on a hiking trip so I decided to take it with me. I tend to pitch up as it's starting to get twilight and if it gets too dark I've got a head torch to help me set up the hammock 
Uh, and then the only thing I really need a light for is if I'm reading when I'm in the hammock because I'm, I'm not tired yet or if I need to go to the loo and those things combined they don't take five hours probably less than two hours it charges up enough on the walk to use it for reading and really there was one night where we had really overcast all day and it hadn't charged up much and so the light didn't last very long but it was it, it, that it's about time for me to go to bed anyway so when it, when it clicked off I was just like alright fine I'll, I'll just go to sleep I normally use this it's just like an LED array you have a, a general array here and then you have a more directional beam here and you have this hook and a magnet so that you can stick it places the magnet is no good on a hammock but the hook is perfect for a ridgeline however this thing takes normal batteries I think it takes I can't remember now three or four AAA batteries and whether you're using shop or, or rechargeable they will eventually die and then it's a case of removing three screws with a screwdriver and replacing them if it dies on a trip that's it's no use to me I haven't brought spare batteries and a screwdriver that's just that's just weight that I don't want to carry that means I have to find some other way of, uh, of reading my book uh, which again is not the end of the world but for me it's an important part of my camping experience I'll have you know this thing however once you've bought it and it's, it's not expensive it's pretty damn cheap I think it's less than seven pounds from lightegg.com it's then harvesting the sunlight or you can even use it I can put it under my desk lamp and it'll charge there it has a, a little red LED at the top here that lights up to let you know that it's charging uh, and it turns off when it's no longer charging yeah so I like this it's good it's fun it's easy to use it's basically free light isn't it? it it doesn't cost much to buy and then once you've got it this thing's pretty effective at turning electric light or solar light into nice bright white LED light that you can use to knit to the loo to read your book to sort your gear out whatever you need it for so yes I like this a lot uh, the only issue I have with it, and it's a minor one, is it is an absolute ball ache to inflate and deflate. Uh, in the end I decided not to bother inflating and deflating it every day, I just strapped it to the backpack fully inflated. Because to deflate it is it's very simple, but again it just takes time. So you've got to just sort of pinch around the nozzle until you hear the air escaping. But if you pinch too hard, then the air won't escape. And if you pinch too soft, it won't open the valve. So I find, like I'm, it kind of feels like I'm milking a tiny miniature cow. And I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it here on this whole video because it does take too long. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, we've got a bit of a go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a good. That's a good run. That. I'm just proving myself wrong right now, oh it takes too long and then all of a sudden I find the technique okay so that didn't take too long <laughs> maybe I should have practiced that more in the comfort of my own home that I had loads of trouble with that on the trip and then I've come here to show you and it's just gone straight down so I had one mind and gripe about this and now I don't that was just me being a melon this, the solar lantern for mighty.com is a very good piece of equipment I like it it floats in water if you want to have a pool party uh, it hangs from a ridge line of a hammock it's light it packs flat and it doesn't require batteries so it's it's a trade-up from what I usually use thumbs up from me oh I'm just trying to get it in the hole having a bit of trouble getting it in the hole hey eh? we've all been there feel like I've got lost there so the last time we saw this woohoo start again it did uh, it the blah 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 bl